Hello, I'm Liv Thick, and I've turned to weightlifting to tone my body after six kids. I truly believe that weightlifting is a natural body healer. 30 minutes a day, six days a week, and you've created yourself a journey to better health. Today, I'll be showing you how I do my arm and cardio workout. Give it a try. You'll see it's a great variety of exercises and it'll actually challenge you, but do it at your own pace and you'll definitely feel that you've accomplished great things. Enjoy. Here I am just walking it out for a complete one minute. All exercises that are done in this video are one minute increments. So everything that I do, you do it as well. When I move on to something else, you move on to something else. I want you all to realize how simple it is to incorporate some exercise into your daily schedule. This is just 20 minutes, and you're going to see on my very next video, I'm going to do a five minute to 10 minute arm workout with some more weights that you can incorporate into your schedule as well. Here I am doing some side arm raises. You can do this with or without weights. It just depends on what your fitness level is. Give it a try. It won't hurt to grab some one, two pounds, five pounds. If you can do it, use some 10 pound weights. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about throughout this entire video, I actually have a client on a Zoom live video out as we're doing these exercises. So I'm just conversating with my clients and we're having a great intense workout here. So now that we're done with our arm weightlifting, we're gonna move on to jogging. This is just a slow jog. You don't have to give it your all. Just do a slow jog because on the next cardio that we're going to do, we're going to go all in with a quick jog. All right, so we're done with that jog session. Now we're moving on to our weights again. We're going to be doing some shoulder shrugs. Just follow along with me in the video. Basically, we're doing as many reps as we can possibly get in in one minute. All right, you can stop jogging now. Pick up those weights, we're going into our lat raises. What I want you to do here is I want you to bend your knees just a tiny bit and then bring your arms up 
and down, up and down. Okay, we're gonna do this for an entire minute. Do as many as you can do. Get a great workout in. All right, remember that quick jog I was telling you about earlier? Put those weights down, let's get to it. Go as fast as you can for at least 30 seconds, and then after that, you can kind of cool it off with a slow jog. But here we go, one minute of jogging. Did I mention that I have six kids? Yes, I do. And I'm using these workouts in my home and sometimes at the gym to get my body back in shape after six babies. Now, I'm not jogging very quickly here, but this is what's considered quick to me. So like I said, do these exercises at your own pace. Don't think about, hey, this person's doing it faster or that person's doing it a lot better than me. You cannot put that, those limitations on yourself, okay? Do what you can do and do it the best that you can do. I know you're probably tired now, so let's stop the jog and let's go into some bicep curls. Remember, you're doing this for one whole minute with or without weights. All right, y'all, you made it. Put those weights down. We're gonna go right into another cardio session. Here we're doing some half jacks. We're not doing the full jacks with the arms, you know, at the same time. We're just doing the legs. Believe me, I think that a lot of people discredit the fact that simple, basic exercises that we used to do in PE actually work. Let me tell you, you're doing these exercises for one whole minute. You're gonna start off thinking it's so, so easy, but I guarantee you after about 30 seconds of doing this, you're gonna probably burn out a little bit. And if that does happen to you, like it does to me, just go ahead and start half timing it, okay? Just get through the entire minute. You'll do great. Now I know you all just saw that transition. You saw my face, you know, all, it's shriveled up and everything that's because my legs are burning so bad so now what I'm doing is I'm half timing it like I told you all to do just slow still do the movements and still get through the entire minute you can do it all right now we're back to our weightlifting we're doing some shoulder raises here give it your all for one whole minute you can do it I I know you're gonna feel the burn in your shoulders after about 20 seconds, but y'all, keep, keep the pace, keep it going, keep it moving. You can do this. I do this workout every single Monday with my client, and the rest of the week we go through some additional um, body workouts, and I'm going to be posting these workouts for you all, and I hope that you all will join in and, and take advantage and, and improve your endurance and improve your fitness levels and challenge yourself, just as I've done after having six babies. All right, weights 
down, we're on to some jumping. Please, don't take this lightly. We're jumping in place. Jump as high as you can or as low as you can. And you're going to see that this isn't as easy as it looks. Jumping is not an easy thing. You're gonna see after this entire minute goes by. jumping pretty quickly and my legs are on fire so I'm switching to a halftime jump here like I said this is not as easy as it looks go at your own pace if you feel like it's too much for you slow it down I do it with no shame Okay, you made it through those jumps. Now we're gonna turn to our triceps. I want you to grab your weights and I want you to bend your back over until it's straight and bend your knees a tiny bit and you're going to kick your arms back to work your triceps. Now, do not swing your arms. Keep your arms still, your upper arms still and your lower arms is what's going to be kicking back. You're gonna feel some tightening in the back of your arm. Those are your triceps getting a great workout. You did such a great job with those tricep kickbacks. Now I want you to put those weights down. We're gonna go for a kind of a slow to, to fast walk here. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a break because after the speed walk, we're going into front arm raises. And then after that, we're gonna be doing some jumps again. All right, great job with that walking. Now it's time to do our weight lifting with our arms again. We're gonna do some front arm raises here. Do them at your own pace. Do them as quickly as you can. Try to see how many reps you can get in in one whole minute. All right, put those weights down. Guess what we have now? We're going back to those wonderful jumps that we love so much that everyone thinks are so easy. Well, you're gonna see that they're not. All right, give it a good 30 seconds of good, fast, quick jumping. And if you can't hang in there, just slow it down to half the time, half the reps, just get through it. All right, here I am slowing it down. Like I said, no shame in my game. I'm still doing the exercises. Your endurance and your stability will increase the more you do these things. So challenge yourself, okay?
done with that jumping, you're probably not gonna like me with this next exercises, but it's time for some push-ups. This is arm day, we cannot forget about the push-ups. We've got to get through it. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I was able to get in 30 push-ups in one minute, and after all those arm exercises, I'm surprised I was able to get that many. So whatever your magic number is, great job to you, and I commend you for being able to do any push-ups at all and if you can't do a normal push-up do get on your knees and push yourself up with a what they like to call a girl push-up and I just like to call it a simpler form of a push-up like I said do these exercises you're going to see yourself increase the more you do these exercises all right let's get to it Okay, our push-up time is up. And as if we haven't just done enough, guess what we're doing now? We're doing a full speed jog. Y'all, we're almost done. After this jog, we're going into a simple walk and then our body stretches. Come on, I want you to give me all you've got. You are almost done with this exercise. Come on, you can do it. Now, I'm struggling here with this jog, I'll admit it. I just finished doing some jumps and then some push-ups and now I want us to do some jogging. Okay, if you can't do it at a fast pace, and as you see, I'm not doing it at a fast pace, just do it at a pace that you feel is comfortable for you, all right? Okay, we're done with that jog, and now you can go ahead and do a slow paced walk. You have just gotten through an entire arm workout plus cardio. You should feel pumped. You should feel so accomplished. You should feel so proud of yourself. All right, get the slow walk in, get your heart rate back down, and, and just enjoy the fact that you have just done a, an exercise routine that didn't take all day long. And don't leave just yet. After this walk, we're gonna go into some body stretches for about a minute to a minute and a half. It's very important to stretch yourself out after you finish working out. Now, some people like to say, do it before you exercise. Now, the reason I don't is because I start the exercises off with a good little pace of a walk, okay? And then we slowly increase the, the cardio sessions throughout our entire workout. So, at the end is where I do my body stretches. All right, it's time for our body stretches. We are almost done with this cardio slash arm weightlifting session. I just want you to follow along with the stretches that I'm doing here. Each stretch is probably about 10 seconds long. So these are pretty much stretches that I learned in PE when I was in like second grade. So I know you all probably know these stretches. So I hope you all enjoyed my workout here today. Today is Monday and I definitely got in a great cardio and arm weightlifting workout. So please do tune in um, a little bit later or maybe in the next hour or two, I'm gonna put up my second part of my arm workout for you all. It's only about five to 10 minutes, but it's pretty simple. It's just, you know, maxing out those muscles um, once again and just topping off what we've already, we've already done um, for as far as our arm workout goes. So all in all, this workout you just did was 20 minutes long. If you tune in for my next workout, you'll have gotten in an, an entire 30 minutes of arm exercises um, for Monday, all right? So I'm so excited about this you know, new series that I'm putting here on my channel. I'm actually letting you all into my entire workouts that I do 
all week long. So I hope you'll tune in every single day and join me and let's transform these bodies together. Okay. I cherish you all. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. I'm Liv Thick. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And remember, every body is beautiful. Mwah.